What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Caden, this is my channel. We do all sorts of cool things here, and today is another installment of my game devlog for the game I'm making called Deadwood Drive. I'm gonna give you a little update on my progress on what I've got, but, in more, uh, but more importantly, I want to let you guys know uh, I'm going to be creating a channel just for this game and this series and everything related to this game. Keep it separate from my personal channel. I wanna keep my short films, uh, and the stuff, my TikTok, all that stuff, I want to keep that personal. I want to keep the game stuff separate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to post the second one here on this channel so you guys can see it because you're waiting for it. And I'm also going to post the first and second uh, video of the series on the new channel. So please go check out the new channel. I'll link it in the description below. Um, subscribe to see the game videos there uh, as well as the devlog. Anything related to the game in the future will be there, not here. Um, so yeah, with that out of the way, uh, I've made a lot of good progress on the game uh, in the last week and a half or so. Um, yeah, I think I, I, that's probably just the best thing I can say is I've made a lot of progress. I'm still working on the missions, um, transferring from one mission to another, but I would like to show you all the progress I've made because we are ever so close to having a demo ready game. Okay, without further ado, let's jump in. Okay. So before we even drive anywhere, you'll see that I do have AI traffic working. Um, we'll get to that in a moment. But I do want to show you guys you know, a major update to the controls of the game. I think in the previous video, the first uh, devlog, it was just forward, backward, left, right to drive. That was it. You had your headlights. You had a pilot mode that stayed at the speed that it was at when you turned it on like a real cruise control would. Uh, but now we have a lot more. Um, so now... We have to press B to break. You can't just press down. Down doesn't actually do anything. So B for break and R for reverse. And you'll notice that you have red glowing uh, brake lights now before they weren't glowing. Now I can uh, make stuff glow, figured that out. And then R for reverse and then you have reverse lights. for. So there's a separate you know light system for re uh, reversing and braking, just like a real truck. Um, and then of course, one more additional feature before we take off down the road here, um, is if you press T, we now have a rear view camera. And I'll show you why we have a rear view camera uh, in just a moment. So what I wanna show you guys first in terms of driving mechanics is the pilot mode. So watch this. I'm gonna set the pilot mode to say, I don't know, 35 miles an hour. And then normally what you would expect is it's gonna you know, stay at 34, 35, whatever I set it to. But now if I pass a speed limit sign, it's going to increase to whatever that speed limit sign says. Um, and I can break this down a little bit later on how this all works. Uh, but you can see it cr goes up to 55. I'm, you know, I didn't do that. It did it by itself. And even better, there's a stop sign coming up. It will automatically break for the stop sign for us when the cruise control is on. You know what I mean? You have to steer still, of course. But it stops, and once you get to zero, it turns that cruise control off and you're good to go down the road again. Um, and just to showcase this one more time, we have some more speed limit signs ahead here. Uh, I'm gonna just, you know, let the pilot mode do its thing um, in terms of the cruise control speed. So it's gonna go up to 70, we passed the 70 speed limit sign. There's a turn coming up, so this is the whole point I made this system. I don't want people to be flipping over the trucks all the time on accident. It hits a 55, so it breaks till 55. It hits a 45, so it breaks to 45. Now you're going a speed that I've assigned that you won't flip over on the road. So now all, all the user you have to do is press you know left and right to steer while that pilot mode is on. Um, and then up here, we'll have the updates to the town. So I've got lots of updates. Um, I think that's all the updates for the truck right now. Um, but you'll see up here the updates for the town that we have. I'm going to turn off this pilot mode because I want to drive a little bit faster. The gas station is probably the first thing that you'll notice, and it's cool that's getting dark right about this time. So we have street lights that come on when it's nighttime and turn off when it's daytime. We have glowing lights on all the buildings, including the gas station. The gas is glowing now. It looks a lot better, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, these street lights really make the map come alive I feel like and then even more so the auto shop is glowing orange looks very good and then now 
when you want to go buy an upgrade instead of it just checking your coins and doing the upgrade automatically it gives you a menu with some options so now it says hey do you want to upgrade you have this many coins you have this upgrade cost and this is what you get if you do it submit or close of course i don't have any coins but if i did i could have done it whatever uh, you guys have already seen the upgrade really nothing has changed about the upgrade um, just the menus to access it uh, and speaking of menus good time to transition over to the new updated menu i'm currently working on the legend don't don't mind the the legend with the cross i'm working on that but you can see that i've simplified it so there's just the objective and the reward and if you want to see anything else you go to the stat screen what the stat screen is going to do is going to have three tabs your stuck truck uh, your truck stats which you're currently at the next upgrade which this is i need to update it it's not obviously uh the updates but the lifetime stats I do have lifetime stats now. So throughout the course of a save, you'll be able to track your total distance, your total trees, and your total damage taken. And I'm also going to say gas used, but obviously the damage and the gas used aren't hooked up yet. The only two I have hooked up right now, distance and trees. So you can see 28, whatever it was, we're going to travel a little bit more. And now we can check 29. So it, it is hooked up and working. Um, let's see, I think that's about it. For the updates on the map, I actually just want to show you guys in the editor rather than driving around. At least so just so I can quickly glance over what I've done. So real quick, we'll drive through it, don't get don't worry, we'll we'll get there. But I want to show you this map in total now. So the pieces that aren't here are the later stages missions and the maze that has the teleporter that you will have in the later missions. Um, so, you know, here's what you guys have seen last time. The standard town plus the lights. Now we've added a building here. We added some rocks. Um, we've added this section back here, which is where the teleporter is gonna put you. And of course, if you zoom in, it'll have like a path of trees that you have to drive through there. Um, but down here, we have another gas station. And there's, there's trees, you just can't see them because I'm not close enough. There's the gas station. Down here, part of the later missions is a blocked off factory checkpoint. After the first mission that will be, after the first mission that will be open. Um, and then here, one of my favorite parts of the map now is just this cool little richy, uh, you know, uppity neighborhood full of big houses. So there's apartments and hotels and stuff like that in town. And then you have the nice houses on this drive. Um, just a little flair to the map, make it seem a little more like a real town. Then here's a giant apartment complex. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much updates to the map. And I've got trees all the way out to the factory. So there we go. Now let's play a little bit, shall we? So if we go back to game, I'm going to drive around the new parts of the map for you guys, show you what that looks like. Um, and then we can talk about the AI car. Uh, situation stuff along the way so the AI cars are hooked up to the speed limit signs and stop signs just like I am so they're just cruising along automatically they behave the road rules essentially and they avoid you if you get in their path they just stop until you move um, so they don't hit you um, oh yeah and I almost forgot I need to show you the updated a uh, tree glow feature that's pretty cool um, so now the trees, and sorry for sidetracking us here, but now the trees actually glow instead of just turn colors. And you actually have to be not moving to collect them. If you're moving, even if you're close enough, you can't collect them, see? But yeah, anyways. The, the car AI is hooked up to the road signs just like my pilot mode is. And then what I plan on doing is making them... I don't know maybe more aggressive drive more aggressively at night or something like that add some flair to them during the nighttime um, I haven't quite figured out what I want to do with that if they just crash into you if they follow you or whatever but now I have an option on the script for the car AI for like the traffic AI that it will follow you and we'll, we'll get to that in a moment I just wanted to drive around this new part of the map over here
And once again, if you're expecting any sort of format to these, I apologize, because there will not be a format. It'll be scatterbrained. Oh, hello, AI car. Um, it'll be scatterbrained. Um, you know, it's just showing you where I'm at. I'm going to go this way. I'm probably also going to put... I don't have traffic signs all over the map, but I'm also probably going to put, like, road signs, like, you know, shop this way, gas station that way, at the intersections or something. Some more of the new shops. Here's a police station I've added. I think the uppity neighborhood is this way. I hope you guys are enjoying what you're seeing. I hope you guys are excited about it as me. I felt like in the last week and a half I've made a lot of progress. Um, I've got the grass on there. I mean, I'm probably going to make it, you know, put more grass on there to make it look even better. But we do have some grass now. Now, if I don't run out of gas, we can make it through this neighborhood. What I'll do... Oh! Glory. What I'll do is I'll put a cruise control on 20 so we don't use our gas. See how much our gas is being used? Compared to, watch what happens when I put cruise control on. It barely uses any gas on cruise control. Just like real life. You know, it's simulation of real life. We'll go a little bit faster. We'll set 25, though. There we go. We need to fix that front headlight. It doesn't look like it's showing all the way through now. How it's like glowing on one side but not the other. Yep, but this is the neighborhood as you drive through it. Ooh. Last thing in terms of visuals you guys would want to see would be the lumber yard, how it glows now too. Um, <clears throat> so let me drive this way just so you can see this last house right here, how it has like a tree fence. Yeah, that's the new part of town. Um, and then now let's go check out the lumber yard. So we can follow this AI traffic guy to the lumber yard, show you guys kind of the AI traffic and the green lights at the same time. So he's going to speed up, slow down to the traffic signs, although he doesn't speed up very fast, which is fine. Um, let's see here. But he will stop, completely stop at the stop sign, and then take off. If you guys have thought of any features you'd like to see that you don't see already, please let me know. Let me know what you think of what I do have, if it's good, if it's an, if it's an idea you like, if it's something you think is dumb or doesn't need to be there, let me know. I'm open to suggestions. That's what this series is about. And yeah, he turns kind of clunky, but I don't care. You know, he does his job. Yeah, you can see how he uh, <clears throat> goes along with the traffic signs just like me. And then if I come up here in front of him, he'll stop. See? And then we can take it a step further. Watch this. Get out of this menu. We can take it a step further and go to this guy and say, follow me. And now when we play, he'll be following me at a set distance. Ooh, no. There we go. And he's coming off the road towards me. 
he will follow me unless he hits something like a stop like a sign or a stop sign but yeah I need to add collision detection so he's not running into stuff but he is now following me there's some hills over here now so I gotta kind of be careful yeah that'll come in very handy with my missions that I have planned after this first one so well, thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed what you see. Leave some comments so I know what you think. If you want to see something I don't have or I have something you don't want to see, anything like that, please let me know. I definitely appreciate you guys watching this, checking this out. I hope you're ready to play this demo. Um, I'm ready to get it out there for sure. Um, and like I said before, guys, I'm going to leave that new channel down there in the description, the Deadwood Drive YouTube channel, um, where all future game stuff will go. So yeah, I think that's about it. Until next time, guys. Peace.